Welcome to another vlog. I'm Jasmine. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Today is Monday. I'm getting ready to go to the gym, get a little workout in, start the week off right. One of my nails is missing. I need to pop it back on. It's right here. I'm just going to glue it on until I am ready to redo my... Oh, this one popped off too. And I have it here. So I'm going to glue these back on <laughs> until I'm ready to redo my whole, my whole hand. I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all. The thought of going to the nail salon has crept back into my mind because I'm like, my nails never popped off from the nail salon. Granted, I hate going, so I know that I'll regret it. So I'm going to hang in there, you know, but I think I just need to get better about my glue down method. But anyways, I am about to go to the gym. I got some clothes in from Fanka and they are sponsoring today's video. So thank you to them. I got some new pieces that I can wear to the gym. You guys know I've been changing sizes every month or so. So a lot of my gym clothes are not fitting the way that I want them to. So I was definitely excited to get some new pieces in. So let's open these up so I can show you what everything looks like. This is the lift and curve bra tank. They also inserted these into the cups to help keep it shape. And I like that. I think that's really nice. I've never seen that before. This material feels really nice and smoothing. So yeah, this is a nice amount of stretch. This is the back, little logo in the back. And I love the detailing in the front as well. Really nice detailing. I did get a pair of matching bottoms that was in the color moon mist and this is also in this beautiful color these are the bottoms here i love the detailing it has like these like 3d detailing all along the leg this is definitely gonna help make your booty look nice i'm gonna wear these two together these are actually also reversible you guys so i'm gonna reverse i'm gonna just flip it over so you can see what the other side looks like on this side you have the logo right here the other side it's in the back with this little the detailing is more subtle you can still see it but it's definitely more subtle i'll show you the back so you can see better but it's more subtle it's not as you know um prominent the bottoms look like also they have a little design on this leg with a little dot so i thought that was really nice then i got the leggings in the color pumpkin i thought this was really nice for the fall time this is such a beautiful fall color wow i love so this is what they look like same leggings so it has the same detail and same like 3d design i really love and the material feels really nice and smooth in waistband is also pretty nice and wide so it's gonna help suck me in and keep me looking nice and you know a nice little shape it's gonna keep me looking right i'm gonna show you guys the other side of these the logo is on the side i love the purple and orange combo and then the detailing and then the leg detailing it's really nice and then i got the lift and curve in black i definitely want to get a black pair i love having a black pair of everything i love you guys like I think with the black one, you can see the detail even more. Like, look how good that looks. I'm going to... Mm, I kind of want to wear these today. I don't know. These look so good. With the little logo. I just noticed the bottom. Really nice. It's on all of them, but the black one just stands out so much that I noticed it. So I just reversed the black pair. And this is what the other side would look like. You have the front. It has the logo on the side here. On this leg, it has this design here. I definitely love that you can reverse these because it's basically like having two leggings in one. Then I got the Beyond Nude Long Sleeve Top. I was actually thinking that I could wear this with the black leggings. So this is what I got. Oh, this feels nice. I was not expecting this to feel like this. Very soft. Love the back. It's definitely a moment. This looks nice. So this is the front neckline. It's very soft. Like, I don't know if you can see. And it also has these little singeing. You could also cinch it up with these or keep it, you know, longer. However you want to style it, you could kind of customize the style. And then lastly, I got the Lift and Curve Leggings in chocolate brown. And I believe these are a little different. You can see the color, it has like this beautiful color. The front is kind of like a crossover on the waistline. And these I think would be really nice to go out with. On the other side of this pants, you can see it's more similar to the other leggings. You guys see that? It looks more like activewear on this side. You see the details? I love this color. It's so pretty. I love the double wear concept. Who doesn't like having 
two things in one. I mean, I know I do. I'm definitely gonna wear the black pair today, so I'm gonna throw that on and head to the gym. My outfit, it's a little later actually, but we're gonna head to the gym now. Right, um, I usually save some of it for later. I'm going to make a bigger bottle of water and just put the rest in that. I'm going to go get some. dress to run a couple errands i have just a couple things to get outside i threw on this crew neck it's from urban outfitters i got it last year so i don't know if they still have it but it's nyc brooklyn I'm gonna go to the grocery store i need to grab a couple things i forgot to get olive oil we literally did instacart last night and i completely forgot it's not something that i get all the time so i knew i needed it but when it came down to placing the order i completely forgot to, to order it so i'm gonna get olive oil and i'm also gonna get the chicken stuff that i had last week i really liked it the chicken um air fried tyson chicken thing so it's it went really well with my salad so i'm gonna grab that that starbucks i went to the bank and now we're gonna go to the grocery store and i will be done with my errands i try to make it really quick today because i have things to do at home got way more than i went in for all right y'all we're gonna head home now quick little grocery haul from the supermarket first thing i got was this all brand I got this for granola with my yogurts. I definitely need to add some more fiber to my diet, so I thought this would be a good way to add in some extra fiber. This one has a lot. This has a lot of fiber. I think it's like uh, 17 grams of fiber, which is crazy. So that's like half the amount I think I need for the day. And got some grapes. I got this chicken. This is not the one that I wanted, but it is air fried. They were sold out of the one that I actually wanted, but I got those, so I got that. Then I showed you guys the pumpkin yogurt, but I got also cherry from Too Good. I really like this brand for yogurt. It's like 80 calories, but it tastes pretty good in my opinion. So I got two. I got two of each, two cherry and two pumpkin. Then I got some olive oil. This one I have not tried, but it says that it's the light version. Um, and it says it's good for frying and baking. So I think that would be good. Just got some sazon. Right now I picked up some more. Um, needed some baking soda to clean my sinks, like the drain. And then we got some of this. I've seen it in supermarkets for a few months and I wanted to try it. So picked it up. And then we got just some honey for the granola. So I feel like this granola is gonna be so bland that I'm gonna have to add in a little bit of like honey or something. So I got honey. I'm thinking I'm gonna do um, yogurt, granola, honey, and then some fruit. So I have some fruit already in the fridge, so that's what I'll use for that. Got some of these for Clay. He loves these and they're not always in stock. So I saw them today, I said, let me get him a pack because this is like his favorite. This is the only fruit that he can actually eat at school. He loves like mango, pineapple, like tropical fruit, but, or like bananas, but it's hard to eat those at school. Those are a lot easier. They come pre-packaged. And whenever I cut up apples myself for him, he doesn't like when they get brown or like a little mushy. So I prefer to just get him those because they stay in good, they stay intact until it's lunchtime for him. 
Anyways, I'm gonna put stuff away. By the way, I purchased a new light that I can kind of move around the house and just help me vlog with better lighting. I'll show you guys what I got. It's from Amazon and I think it's a good portable-ish light. I do have a ton of different lighting, but some of them are not practical to walk around the house with. Like my ring light is not practical to walk around the house with. It's way too big and just awkward. And then I have lights that are a little smaller than this, but I feel like when they light up the space is not like this i really like the way this looks so i'll show you guys what it is and i'm gonna get a second one for when i want like two lights for even more lighting but this is perfect since i'm on the bottom floor i don't have as much natural light as upstairs like upstairs is so bright compared to down here well down here is lower it's just not as bright down here so this will definitely help me shoot more stuff this will definitely help me film in different spaces that i normally don't film in i was in some meal prep for johnny yesterday i didn't get a chance to because i was attempting to edit my vlog <laughs> i was being a little delulu yesterday and i thought i would be able to edit my vlog after church but i really didn't have any time we went to church then after church we went out to brunch or like lunch ish and we got back home it was like 3 30 so i really had no time like the other day i was at target and i saw they had like an oil and vinegar bottle from the magnolia collection i think i want to get it so i could put my oil so i think i'll get that okay so i'm gonna make a parfait in this little cup hopefully it tastes good i'm using the stuff that i got at the grocery store the ingredients here i have this switched into these for now this a little bit more comfy. I have the all brand cereal, which I'm gonna use as granola. And then I have some raspberries. Hopefully these are good, because I think I got these a couple weeks ago. They look fine. Um, and then, then we're gonna use this yogurt from Too Good, the pumpkin one. We're gonna put the first half in the bottom. Then we're gonna add the yogurt. Ooh, my memory card is getting full. I need to hurry up. Okay. It smells good. It smells like pumpkin. <laughs> okay. I'm going to add some more granola because that was only one fourth. Okay, so I'm adding the other half of granola. Well, brand cereal or whatever. I'm gonna add some more of this. Oh. Okay, and then we're gonna add some fruit. I don't know if I wanna do, I think I'll do blackberries today. I'm just gonna wash, I'm gonna wash. Oh. All right, so we're gonna just wash the berries in this. This is my little parfait. Hopefully it tastes good. Let's try this. I feel like it's gonna taste very earthy. Mm. Um, <laughs> there's no way I'm finishing this. There's no way. Oh my gosh. This tastes like a lot. I need milk. No, this is too much. Like, I definitely, there's no way I'm going to finish this. It's very rich. I feel like I should just do cereal with this because this method is not going to work. Mmm, I can taste the fire. <laughs> Good morning. It's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? I don't even know what day it is. I feel like it's Wednesday. Um, let me see. Calendar. Yeah, it's it's Wednesday. Cause so I just parked. I'm in the Bronx right now. I have a hair appointment to get my sewing done. I wanted to get coffee, but I ended up not going because I didn't want to be late. And now I have 20 minutes to spare. But 
I feel like if I had gone to Starbucks, I probably would have been late. I'm not really familiar with this part of the Bronx. I'm from uptown. This is um, like my Haven area. So I'm not very familiar. Like I know of it, but I've never really been here. So um, I really wasn't sure about parking or anything like that. So I'm happy I found a spot. And yeah, after this, I have to go get my Wigovi. I have to get it. I'm I put the camera down because people walking by and looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> um, I, got, I have to get my Rigovi from another pharmacy because Costco was out of stock. So I've been getting it from Costco. They've been out of they were out of stock yesterday, and they said call back today to see if they have it. I said I'm not doing that. Like I need to find it today because I know how this works. Like I'm not calling you all week and then by the end of the week you still don't have it and now I I missed my dose. So I found another pharmacy that has it. So I'm going to pick it up today. It's in the Bronx. So I'm going to pick it up today from there. And then um, we'll go home from there. Hopefully they're still open by the time I'm done. They should be. Because last time I did, I worked with her. She was pretty quick, I remember. I a lounge set today. This one. And then the pants are also from lounge. got my hair done i'm headed to the pharmacy right now there's so much traffic down here though it's literally taking me like 10 minutes to move an inch it's ridiculous hey y'all i'm back uptown no more traffic Ooh, let me turn this off all right i'm back uptown i need to find a parking spot so i've been literally driving for two hours i just got back to rockland i'm about to go to cvs i need to grab some hair sheen and i wanted to look for like thicker headbands so i could wear to protect like my edges and stuff then i need to get home upload this video well it's already uploaded i just need to do the um thumbnail i did not realize i was gonna be home so late like the traffic was insane in the south bronx like it was fine when i got uptown but the south bronx traffic was insane it took me like an hour to drive like i don't know three miles like it was insane anyways <sighs> Anyways, I got my medication. I'm excited about that. So I was freaking out yesterday when I realized I was a little nervous yesterday when the pharmacy said they didn't have it. I'm gonna go. Um, I also got a matcha. All right. I just need to like collect myself because I don't know if y'all know this, but I hate driving. All right, let's go to see the. My hair came out really good. Really, really good. I love the way it came out. The blend is impeccable. I use Maven hair and I'm working with them on their channel. But so this is not sponsored, but um I am collabing with them on their channel. So yeah, it looks really good. Alright, let's go. Hey y'all, so I'm back home. I've been home for a minute. It's 10 30 right now. I'm done with my family night routine, like getting the kids to bed and all that stuff, but I still have a ton of stuff to do, like to get myself ready for bed. I gotta take a shower, wash my face, brush my teeth, all the things. But I just wanted to show you guys what I got at CVS. First, I got these. Um, I was not really looking for this. I was looking for more so like the wider headbands, but I couldn't find any. So I ended up going with this. It's kind of like a wider one. I think I'll just order on Amazon what I'm looking for, but I thought I could use this for tonight or the front of my hair. So I got those and then I got my vitamin D, which I need to take. I also got a couple of PR packages. This first one is from Makeup Forever. This is the collection here. It's the Artist Blush and Highlight Powders. They sent this cute little package. So cute. How cute is this? It has some lip liners, some blushes, and highlights. Skin fusing longwear formula with buildable intensity and color payoff. This is the packaging, really nice. This is one of the highlighters. This is really pretty. This one is a highlighter as well i want to see they have oh this is gonna be pretty oh this one yes a darker color really nice it's called limitless berry so this one's a deeper oh this is pretty this is the blush i think it's really pretty i'll do a video where i show these in more detail but they also sent me the liners which i love their liners i use their liner all the time i use limitless brown which is this one so i have another one of the lip brown and i also love dimensional dark brown that's my other favorite lip liner from them which is this one here it's like a darker brown if you want something a little deeper all of these i've never tried this one is called oh wait this is limitless brown so what's this 
This one is called Versatile Chestnut. This is not new, but this is a different brown. I'm gonna try this. I've never tried this color. This is another dark brown. This one is called what's this called? Uh, Universal Earth. Well, this one's too light, but it's still like a nice brown. I can use this like all over my lips. But yeah, they sent me. So yeah, cute little package. Thank you, Makeup Forever. Like this is so surreal. Like Makeup Forever is one of those brands that. I just got on their PR list like recently, I would say in the past year, but every time I get a package from them, I'm always like so shocked because I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's Makeup Forever. Like that's like one of my favorite brands and it's been for so long and you know, to me it's like a big deal, okay? But speaking of big deals, I got a package from Mac. I was like, what? Who, who sent me this? Who sent me this? I was so shocked i don't even know how they got my address i don't always know how brands get my address i'm not always aware of pr coming my way because a lot of brands use agencies and so they'll have like multiple um like one agency will have multiple brands under them so if you're in one brand with that agency another brand could possibly have your address without you even realizing assuming that's what happened with mac but i'm so excited i was like what okay I couldn't believe my eyes when I opened up that box. I said, Mac. Little Mac. I did open it already because I could not help myself. But I'll show you guys what it is. But I'll show you what was in here. So basically, basically they have two like trending collections. It has their retro lip color. It has the retro liquid lipstick in a caviar. It's like a dark, like a black. And then it has the squirt plumpin gloss stick in jet, which is also black. I think it's because it's October. And then they have the clear lip gloss. I haven't had the clear lip gloss in a long time, but I really like it. It's really, really juicy. It's one of the most like long wearing lip glosses, lip glosses. It's stickier, but it lasts forever. And then on the flip side, it has like a copper um, trend in look. So this is like more coppery. So they have the Dazzle Shadow in copper, copper, no, couture copper. They also have the Dazzle Shadow liquid in blinking brilliant which also looks really pretty and then they have the lip gloss in oh baby so thankful for this package thank you mac for sending this over i will definitely be using all of these i have a lot of work to do for the rest of the week because um all my packages came at the same time like literally five packages came in today that i need to make content for and i want to do it by the end of this week because i want to get this week done with like i want to finish all my projects so that I don't have anything hanging over my head because I know I have stuff to do next week. Things that are going to arrive next week that I need to shoot for. So I have so thankful I have some, you know, work going on. But it's like when it rains and pours kind of, you know. So I'm excited, but also like freaking out because I'm like, whoa, like I have a lot of work to do. I also forgot to upload my vlog because when I got home, I ended up starting to cook when i got home i ended up cooking and then i went to go help clear with his homework and it took longer than i realized it took i was sitting there doing homework with him when i checked the time it was 8 30 and i don't like to upload at that time so i will upload tomorrow i yeah uh, sorry you guys are not gonna see this video until next week but sorry in advance <laughs> sorry from the future so yeah that's fine anyways i think i'm gonna go take my shower and i will talk to y'all tomorrow good morning it's thursday i have a lot to do today i think i kind of said that yesterday but i definitely do so i'm about to go to the gym i want to start my day off with a good workout just to get that out of the way get started on the right foot and then i'm gonna go grab coffee at starbucks and we're gonna get right into work all right so it's been a minute since i turned the camera on i think the last time i spoke to y'all it was morning it's 11 30 at night i just wrapped up my entire day I, I came home and i had to like literally organize my work because i was just like it was a lot of stuff i had to do so i like separated things into like ziploc bags and like things i have to film and yeah i was really trying to give myself some order printed out my briefs that i need to do and i got right into film and i didn't vlog anything i was just kind of like in the zone we had dinner i put my kids to bed and here i am Hello. I was just talking to Johnny also for like two hours, but here I am about to get 
unready and ready for bed so i figured i would vlog a little bit because i didn't vlog the entire day i haven't vlogged at nighttime in a while i just haven't i don't know but um i figure we'll get unready together and maybe chat i don't know if there's anything i want to chat about let's see what's going on on the instagram i haven't even been on instagram i was supposed to be posting this entire week and i honestly haven't posted a single thing in my po in my feed so that's not good but um let's see what's going on so i'm gonna use my makeup remover wipes i've been using these this week because i've been lazy <laughs> so this is When I do get makeup removal wipes, I like getting these ones because they have a lot more like water. So I don't feel like I have to pull as hard as other makeup remover wipes. So I use these. Um, I like using these instead. The look that I'm wearing today, I did it for a brand. So I didn't film it for you guys. But if you're interested in a look similar to this, I could do like a fall makeup look and do something pretty similar. Because I was actually thinking about doing a full makeup look. I just haven't. I've been kind of like unsure about content. Like I, I'm like scared to post something. And I'm just like scared to post. I don't know why. It's also, the Sephora sale is coming up. So I need to start adding some stuff to my cart. I added like maybe four things. But I need to like go through the site and see what I really want to try. Because I know there's some stuff I've been meaning to try. And this is the perfect time. I've honestly been using the purity face wash i'm in a pr package and honestly i've been using it and i kind of i kind of like it i have used it years ago but i forgot like what it was like you guys know i used the youth of the people superfood cleanser for so long and then i ran out but since i ran out but since i had some other cleansers in my house i decided to just use them like try them out and I tried a couple and I really didn't like them. I felt like they were stripping my skin and making it really dry and not and almost breaking me out. So I decided to try this one because I know it's like more gentle and I've been enjoying it. So that's what I've been using for the past maybe month or so. I actually did my brows today and I did such a good job pluck them but i use like a 10x mirror so i could be up close and pluck every single hair and i shape them so perfectly i do have my brows microbladed like i got them done in 2020 i think so i have a shape the perfect shape so so i kind of have a guide as to where to pluck and it came out so good i feel like i do my brows but i never really spend a lot of time i spent a good 20 minutes plucking in the 10x mirror and when i zoomed out and used a regular mirror i was like oh I did a good job. I did a good job. I also used a little scissor and like cut the top. Like I, it was given a brow expert. Okay. <laughs> so my toner. We're gonna use the glazing milk from Road. I actually also glued my nails back on because I had some stuff to film. So I glued my this finger and my thumb back on. But the thing is now the thumb is like all the way up to the cuticle and all my other nails are like down. I need to take them off and do them over, but I don't have time. I really don't. I need like a good two, three hours to do that. And I really don't have time right now. I'm so tempted to get a nail appointment, but it's just ugh. part of my problem with my nail appointments. But one of the biggest things is like, I feel like the nail tech I had, she was good, but she was not consistent. Like sometimes her work would come out really good and sometimes I feel like she was sloppy. And I hate that. Like I hate going in and like not sure like how it's going to turn out. Yeah, sometimes nails will be crooked a little bit, like just the tiniest bit, but I noticed that stuff and I'm like, mm, it would bother me for like three weeks. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I just wanted to learn myself. But right now I'm like, I really wish I had somebody that was really good because I, I kind of want to just go have it done somewhere. Okay, so I did my toner. I'm going to do hyaluronic acid tonight. I'm use this one. I need to, I need to hurry up. Johnny's waiting for me because he wants to watch a show. Oh my gosh, it's so late. How is the time going so fast? <laughs> Moisturizer, I'm using this. I've been using this again. 
gonna put this on. Definitely need to start editing this vlog tomorrow because I have no idea what I've been vlogging. I feel like I've been vlogging a whole bunch of nonsense, a whole bunch of nothing. So I need to go sit through the footage and see what's going on. At least I could know if I need to like, make adjustments, you know? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna brush my teeth, then I'm gonna put this on. Yeah, I use a tongue scraper from Amazon. This is the floss that I use because my teeth are very close together, so this floss works perfectly. Toothbrush, mouthwash with zero alcohol. And yeah, I'm gonna use the last drop of this toothpaste. I got some. Hey y'all, good morning. It's Friday. I am about to leave the house to go to the gym. It's like 11 o'clock right now, 10.53, so I'm getting a later start to my morning. But I woke up and I had my cycle, so I was just kind of like, mm. I don't know if I really want to go to the gym, but then I decided I'm just going to go. I'm going to do it and get it out the way because I feel like I've been on a roll this week and I don't really want to mess that up. This is my first time getting my cycle three months in a row in a long time i think it's a combination of the Ligovi and also me losing weight so i'm not sure like you know which one is affecting it more but i definitely know it's a combination of both not only is it three months in a row but it's actually like equal time in so it's like around the same time it's about 30 days i want to say i'm gonna double check that's different for me with pcos i don't typically get um cycles every month and i did at one point when i was in high school but um i remember towards the end of high school it wasn't regular it's so tricky like all these things kind of play into each other and everything kind of affects everything it's like a big cycle anyways i'm gonna put on some perfume i brought my little glossier perfume with me today um i'm gonna wear this perfume today to the gym I think it's a good gym scent because it's not, not too strong, but it definitely smells really good. I also have been drinking my Alani New because I went to bed at 3 o'clock last night. Yep, you heard that right. 3 o'clock. I don't know why, y'all. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. I can't even tell you. I can't. I really can't even tell you what I was doing. I really can't. So I think I'm deleting TikTok off my phone today for the weekend. I'm going to post something today and then I'm deleting it, deleting it off my phone. I brought it back. I'll put it back. I'll put it back on Monday because I need a break. I need like a, a change, a pause because I this yeah, cuz I was just like on there scrolling like endlessly. It's ridiculous. I hate that. Absolutely hate that. So yeah. Hey friends, I feel like I have not talked to you all day since this morning when I was going to the gym. I just got done filming. 7.40 right now, so it's literally nighttime. I'm working on some videos. I filmed one video. I'm going to film a different video right now. But I wanted to just say hey. I just got a package in the mail. PR from Fenty. They said they were going to send something holiday-esque. I think I'm going to do like a TikTok and vlog it. So I'm going to wait till I'm done filming this next video. And then we'll go open it together. I actually also need to figure out my kids' dinner because like, it's because it's 7.40. So I'm going to actually make their dinner and then I'll film my next video. It will be quick. Um, I'm going to make like a fish sandwich. And then Callie, I'll probably make her mac and cheese. We are done. Let me turn this light off. Okay. Whew. All right. So I just finished filming for today. Well, my like, I just finished filming like my sponsored content. I need to actually do like my TikTok stuff. So I said I was going to show you guys the perfume. I said I was going to show you guys the unboxing from Fenty. So I'm going to do that. I also wanted to share like my other PR on tiktok i guess so i'll do like a two-in-one type of video i think i'll just put my camera in front of me and just do it that way i don't really feel like filming with the back camera even though it's better as soon as i feel like i don't mind the casual i don't mind the casualness of just using the front camera on tiktok so 
I'm just gonna do the front camera today. Okay, so this is what they sent me, you guys. Are you excited? I'm gonna share the vlog first. The vlog is gonna see first. Vlog eats first, okay? What they said is the perfume and travel size of it. So cute. Love the little Fenty on the top. This smells really good. I've smelled it before. It smells amazing. It smells so good. It actually reminds me of another perfume that I feel like I have. What is it? It smells so good, y'all. This smells really good. Wait, I feel like I smell this at Sephora and it didn't smell this good but now that I'm having it I'm like wait this legit smells crazy good I think when I smelled it at Sephora it was literally like the last of the bottom in the bottle there was really nothing left so I just got a little whiff of it but this smells delicious it smells like something I own or similar to something I own I should say I can't put my finger I'm trying to figure out what it oh I know what it smells like Hold on, I think I know exactly what it smells like. Wouldn't say it's a dupe, but it smells very similar to Bond 9 New York Nights. I don't know where I put the top, but it smells really, really similar to this one. Yeah, it definitely smells like this. I'm like, this smells like something. And I love this. I literally am like to the bottom of this. I can't really see because the bottle is not see-through, but this is one of my favorite scents. Look how beat up the bottle is. This is one of those it's one of those scents that I love so much that I literally use it every single day at one point and I got sick of it, but I still love it. Um, this smells like that. This smells like a little better to me, like it has more of a sweet kick to it, but they smell very similar. All right, so I just did my full unboxing. Did I tell you guys? Yeah, I think I showed y'all this is the dupe that I think for that perfume. I'm also going to take my I'm taking my medication. This is I'm going to take the Wegovy. This is what I take 2.4. I need to get dressed. Johnny wants to go out on a date. So I'm going to just um, change. I think we're doing something casual. So I'm just going to wear like something casual. I'm going to keep this top on. It's a bodysuit from Fashion Nova. But I'm not wearing a bra because I was just filming with it. So I'm going to put a bra on and some proper pants. But that's besides it. Um, and I'm going to wear my new perfume tonight. I'm gonna go put my kids to bed. We'll make sure they're like good. They ate already. You just need to brush their teeth. I think they did, but I need to double check because they be trying to play games. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, just changed. Just changed my outfit. All right. So, I just put these jeans on. These are my um, for all mankind first shoes. First shoes. I'm wearing these chunky heels. So. And then, and then this little purse. Johnny should be here in like 10 minutes. I'm not sure where we're going tonight. But um, last week we did Mexican. So we'll probably do something different. But yeah, he should be here soon. And I will, maybe I'll vlog on my phone a little bit. I like to show you guys the food, whatever I get. Good morning. Saturday, I just took my hair down. I had it in like a bun on top of my head last night and I kind of liked it. I'm gonna go to Starbucks to grab breakfast, well, just like coffee. And I'm gonna get some bagels for my kids. Last night we went to Yard House. We always love Yard House. I feel like they have a good menu. Like they have a lot of different things to choose from. I had glazed salmon with mashed potato and also I'm wearing this shirt from, this is from, and in bang and it's so oversized now it's crazy like i love the way it fits i love this fit for it but when i first got it it was like tight on me which is insane but yeah it fits really nice and like oversized like a big tee and then my jeans that i'm wearing i wanted to wear black jeans because i have my cycle um it's like the second day so i really wanted to make sure like i wear black jeans so these are a little too big and these um so i had to like fold down the so I had to fold down the waistline so they could stay up because they were just like sliding down. Um, but they're from Madewell. 
yeah so yeah I'm wearing these they're from Madewell but like I said I had to fold this part down so that they stay up a little better because otherwise they just fall down so yeah we just folded them over and I'm wearing the Fenty perfume because it smells so good I'm gonna take this bag with me and wear my black so I'm going to wear my black Ugg slippers with this outfit. So, yeah, that's the fit. I'm going to head out right now because I've been kind of procrastinating. All right. Just ordered my drinks. Oh, turn this off. I see a body with a one. I, got a, I got the brown sugar oat milk with some pumpkin today. Yum. Well, let's go to Walgreens.